Why must I suffer? Suffering is painful. Suffering is hard. Suffering is difficult. Why must I suffer? If I serve God, shouldn't I have an easy life? If I pray, if I live according to His words and His commandments, should I not have an easy life? It is foolishness to think that because we serve God, we should have an easy life. The disciples did not have easy lives. The people in the church from generations before did not have easy lives. Our parents, our forefathers, they did not have easy lives. They had challenges. They had problems. They had circumstances that they had to face every single day of their lives. Jesus himself did not have an easy life. What makes us so special? Do we feel that because we serve God, because we do this and because we have works, we should not have any trouble? That is a lie. Jesus said that in this world you will have trouble, but we should not be dismayed because He has overcome this world. Who are we to think that we shouldn't have any hardship in our life. If our Lord had hardship, who are we? The difference for a Christian is that suffering is a blessing. To suffer for Christ is one of the greatest honors because when we suffer for Him, our reward in heaven is great. We cannot deny that suffering hurts. We have medical bills, illnesses, difficulties, the lack of opportunities, failures, circumstances, problems that just spring out of nowhere. And we are tempted to ask, why must I suffer? The thing is, suffering doesn't have to be a negative thing. In fact, as a Christian, suffering does more good for you than you think. Let us change our perspective when it comes to suffering. Firstly, suffering develops you more. You learn more in your hard places than you do in your easy places. Growth only occurs when you are placed in difficult places. Places of comfort are where dreams and determination go to die. Sometimes God places you in an uncomfortable situation so that you are always moving, never remaining still. When you are placed in a place of suffering, it grows you and stretches you for the task that is at hand further down the line. God is preparing you now for the things that you have to face in the years to come. You must remember that trees often have to be pruned and cut in order to bear more fruit. And sometimes that's what God does for us. He prunes us. And while it may be initially painful, it is ultimately for our own good because we grow. We grow more in our character. We grow more in our faith. We grow in our personality in suffering. Suffering is a place of growth. Another thing that suffering does is that it makes you grateful. You are usually not grateful for things until you come to the point of losing it. Don't wait until that point where you might lose something to be grateful for what you have. Suffering teaches you to look at the other things that are going well in your life. You may focus on something that is not going well in your life and you might think that everything is going wrong. But in reality, it's only those small things that are going wrong. Look at what is working out for you and don't make it too complicated. Be grateful for the small things. You can see, you can hear, you have a roof over your head. You have it better than someone else. There are other people going through worse things than you are right now, despite you being in your own form of suffering. That other person will gladly take your place in exchange for theirs. Suffering also increases your reliance on God. It is arrogance and foolishness to think that we can live this life without God. We need Him every single day. 
The fool says in his heart, there is no God. While we may be tempted to think that God doesn't care about our sufferings, we must remember that Jesus is well acquainted with all of our sufferings. He knows what we are going through and he will help us. Suffering shows us how strong our God is. How do you know if God is a healer if you have never been sick? How do you know if God is a provider if you've never been in lack? How do you know if God is a helper if you are not in a situation where only God can take you out? As painful as suffering is, it is only when we are weak that we become strong through Him and Him alone. He gives us the strength, He gives us the peace, He gives us the comfort and the direction. In our place of suffering, our God shows up strong. Our God shows us the way to go and what to do. My friends, suffering is a part of life. There is no escape from it. The world tries to escape suffering as much as it can. They often use vice, distractions, avarice. We know that as Christians, we cannot escape suffering, but we are comforted in knowing that God is with us every step of the way. We are never alone in whatever situation we find ourselves in. God is our witness and our advocate. He fights for us when we get tired. He will make the way of escape. He is the ever-present help in times of need. So don't run away from suffering, but change your perspective of it. You can't run away from suffering, but you can certainly make it work for you.